Hello and thank you for allowing the homeless in our nation's capital this platform to speak to you. I am the homeless home loose advocate Eric Sheptock. I am believable Brenda. I am most unlikely to succeed. Donald Whitehead. Hello everybody. I am better believe Steve. And you better believe me when I say these streets are mean. Take it from better believe Steve. You better not end up on these streets. Guys can we do this somewhere else? I don't like the mean streets. I'm softer than toilet paper. Hey big fella. You are not supposed to let our audience know that. We can't take you anywhere. And hell. You used to live out here. You think you would be used to this. You know Brenda. Steve is right on cue. For the homeless the streets is a nightmare, a war zone, something, somewhere, that you never want to return to once you leave. So true. I guess I forgot what it was like when I was out here. The shelter must have softened me up, as I did not have to deal with Mother Nature. She can be a B-I-T-C-H. That is right. We are blessed because we don't sleep on these streets anymore. But the shelters can be worse. Eric I don't know how you do it. I choose street over shelter. I believe that the shelter is safer than the streets. It gives me a place to store my belongings. Lay my head. And plan out my advocacy. When I was in the shelters and still to this day. They put us. Women. Out in the cold. Rain. Snow. Heat. With nothing to do. Nowhere to go. No food in our belly. How no food in the belly don't work for the big fella. I remember the bench breakfast some kind folks would deliver. That is a perk for living on the streets. Hey idiots. You are debating where is better for homeless people to live. Ugh. Let us talk about solutions to moving homeless to being housed and self-sufficient. We need to get these homeless inside. Provide services and training to get them back into the mainstream. Stop enabling and warehousing and start helping and housing, respectively. We ought to be ashamed of ourselves. Letting people waste away both on the streets and in the shelters. Shelters should be concentration camps to get people back on their feet. We at Streets are in the shelters delivering all the services you just mentioned to move homeless to self-sufficiency. For example, we have a GED program over at the DC General Family Shelter. We are not only engaging, empowering, and enlightening. We are eliminating people from homelessness. I hear you Donald. We are not just providing fish for the homeless. We are teaching them how to fish. You got it Eric. We are providing the tools required for one to move from shelter to self-sufficiency. With the help of our viewers, during the cold season when we are allowed to remain inside, streets will work with the homeless to empower, educate, and employ them. I have to make this point again. For those who do not know, when it is 32 degrees or more, homeless are put out in the streets from the shelters at 7 a.m., not to return until 7 p.m. But with your help streets will provide services inside of shelters to the homeless when they are usually put out in the cold. Imagine shelters serving as life-changing institutions that help educate, employ, enhance and enrich one's life experience instead of homelessness being a life sentence. And let us make certain that these places are cleaned up. Who brought this little fella in from the streets? Let's go outside so Donald can talk to the corporations. Let us also look at this from a business perspective. This opportunity to give meets your corporate philanthropic model as you are educating and uplifting the homeless. For you the customer. Here is an opportunity to support your favorite company's philanthropic policy as well. For you your financial donation is fully tax deductible. Often our efforts in donating clothes and food are forgotten, or not deductible. A financial donation to streets is fully tax deductible, and works towards moving a homeless person, out of homelessness. So in a nutshell, you can make a financial donation online, get a tax deduction, and your donation will go towards teaching a homeless how to fish. Wait. Wait. Let us be clear. Your donation will be fully tax deductible. And go towards training homeless individuals who need Peace, profession enhancement and career exploration, job readiness, and job training programs that will get homeless into living wage jobs. Hope. Helping one pursue education. 
GED training where we bring trainers directly to the homeless, meeting them where they are, when they are there. Joy, journey outside yourself, case management services, where we spend time shedding our old self, dealing with our present self, and moving to our new self. Love, letting one's vulnerability end. Life skills training. We have been sheltered for a while. So we do not take for granted the simple things in living life. Faith. Financial and investment training house. Oh, how important this is. Money management. With faith we examine our past and explore our financial future. And care. Chemical addiction recovery exchange. This was my downfall. Drugs and alcohol. So important in my recovery was to work with professional counselors who took care of me. So you heard it. An investment in streets is an investment in moving a homeless person out of homelessness. Thank you for hearing us. As so many choose not to listen. Thank you for seeing us. As so many choose to walk past us. Thank you for caring about us. As so many really don't care about us. And in advance. We thank you for your donation to help move homeless from shelter to self-sufficiency. Please. Invest in the future of a homeless person. You have fed us. You have clothed us. Now help move us out of homelessness. Thank you for your time and considering donating to streets. For the homeless everywhere. God bless you.